Good morning, everyone. It's the first day of school. It's also my first day of my morning routine, like officially. The only thing which is actually extra awesome is um, that today is a sleep-in day, so I don't have to start work until an hour later. So if for some reason this morning routine takes longer than I think it will, I have an extra buffer hour. So it's gonna be great. It's like 5.30 right now. I woke up at five. I'm finally getting out the door. Um, I watched Lauren and the books update video about how she's going down to four days a week of work, which is like amazing. <laughs> Like, that would be so cool to be able to do. Um, and now, I'm just going to work out for a half hour, because that's my thing. Only 30 minutes. All I have to do is 30 minutes right now. I'll add on to it later. And I am going to be listening to the new doll book. I'm so excited. I can't believe, like, I finished the book yesterday, and then the new one came out today. It's perfect timing. I have it on audio. So, that's what I'm going to do when I'm working out. You guys, it's read by the author as well. How exciting. And there's like this like beat when you first open it up. Like that's totally what I need this morning for my workout. Okay, so here's what I'll say so far about this book. The narrator, AKA the author is amazing. Like the perfect person to read this book. Um, I love it <laughs> just as much as the other one. I will say that if you haven't read the first book, it's okay to read the second one because they do the author does loads of like recap however if you plan to read the first one eventually you should start there because otherwise you'll have the first one spoiled because he recaps everything and you would know everything so but yeah it's really good so far basically um he got into another fight right off the bat as one does and then this lady has come to him um, for help trying to find her mother. And I think that's all I'll say for right now. That's really as far as I got, but there's like, it was, it was good. The morning routine is done. I have around 20 or 30 minutes until I should leave on a regular day, but because the late start, I have like an hour and 20 minutes. So I am going to read. I'm going to not do work because it's not time for work even though that is a huge pull right now because I feel like I have so much to do, but I'm at home, I'm not at work. And so I should use this time to read or chill or do whatever. Um, I'm currently reading in addition to the audiobook, which is gonna be hard to stop because it's so good. I am reading the refrigerator monologues, which is super weird and I kind of love it. Um, basically it is about this dead well right now I think it's about more than one person but right now it's about this dead girl and it's like kind of like science fiction she um is in the afterlife she literally lives in hell's kitchen she says and I think the book is gonna be a bunch of short stories where like dead women <laughs> stand up and tell their stories so I think it might be like a feminist book um, but right now it's definitely like sci-fi, dead people. It's kind of weird to be honest. Okay, I do have one potential quibble about this book. Um, but I think it's okay because the main character is not very tech savvy. But like he has all these people that he asks for help uh, to like look up different things. And like I could find that information that he was looking for like without any skill <laughs> like I'm not an investigator or anything but I know where to find like who owns a property and like he needs help with that and yeah maybe it's because he's not tech savvy but that just seems like a pretty simple thing that he could do himself just saying I totally wanted to stay at work longer oh my gosh like I, one, was in the middle of something really fun. I'm doing the grid method this year with my students. And if you're a teacher and want to hear more about that, let me know. Um, I don't know how many teachers actually watch this. Anyway, um, and at the beginning of the year, I always just stay late and uh, work really hard so that the rest of the year just kind of runs like a machine. But I have a library meeting um, for the personnel committee, so I'm off to the library right now. So the first day though went amazing at school. 
I have the best pair of pros in the entire school. No joke. And I love my kids this year too. There's not a single one that like, don't really like that much. Like they are amazing. So in special ed world, um, I really just have this week where I'm just kind of working on getting things ready um, as far as like paperwork and communicating with people and all that sort of thing. And then my students are with their actual classroom teacher just so that they are part of the classroom community and get to know everybody. And, you know, I just don't want them to like be viewed as special ed kids. So I really don't start seeing kids until like either Friday or next week. Um, but yeah. It was still like a really good day. I think I have two hours left of listening to this book and I'm just gonna sit here or walk around the house. Who knows? Maybe I'll get stuff done until it's over. I'm not going to bed until I finish this book. Hey everyone. Okay, it's actually day seven, but I basically like finished the Wheel of Doll or whatever the new book is called and then instantly fell asleep. Like I was like, trying to stay awake not because it wasn't good but just because it was way past my bedtime when I finished anyway I can't remember if I told you what it was about or not because all those videos were yesterday um basically doll has become a buddhist <laughs> and that uh is in the book quite a bit um in addition the main bit of the story basically is that this woman comes to him her mom is missing and Dal needs to look for her. So that's all I'll say just because Dal is so like twisty and fast paced and all that sort of stuff that you don't really know need to know more about it. But I will just share with you like what I thought about it, which is that I loved it. It was so good. Now, I think that I loved it because I love Dal so freaking much. And just to have him go on another adventure, I was like, yes, please, like sign me up. Plus, the timing was perfect that I read the original book the day before the second book came out. Like, meant to be, meant to be, right? So, um... Here's what I will say about it, just for people that are interested in reading them. Number one, if you're going to read them both, read the first one first, because otherwise the second book spoils the whole, the whole first book. It will catch you up, so you don't have to read the first one first, but you will have it spoiled if you don't read the first one first. Um, the other thing I will say is I felt like the first one was this more like linear story almost. And the second one, it was also linear, but it seemed like mysteries were solved more quickly and then it would lead you to another mystery and then that was solved and then another one, not 100%, but that's just like, I guess what I'm telling you so that you can get that in your mind. Um, but, okay, so here's my other thing. The first one, I'm not talking about the end of the book, but like the last like mystery or problem. Um, I was just fascinated by the medical part. If you read it, you know what I mean. I loved that part. Not necessarily like the ending. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about that last medical part I thought was fascinating. Um, in this one, I think I liked the mysteries more along the way. Like he still beats everyone up there's still loads of blood and pus and all sorts of things. Uh, but I just think I was more interested in like what he was doing throughout the book. Um, whereas the other one, I loved the fast pace, but I was really only interested in the medical piece at the end. And the rest was just interesting because it was fast paced, but not necessarily because I was into the mystery. If that makes any sense. Anyway, if you guys um, are into Doll, I definitely think you should read The Wheel of Doll. I'm curious um, if you guys have read Doll at All or if you want to. Like, it's perfect for Shorty September. It would be perfect for so many prompts. Um, I think it would be good for the Beach Read one, the Lifeguard shorts. It would be good for the Mystery one, the Slasher Ripped shorts, I think it is. Um, in some ways, I'm curious if it would also be good for the, oh gosh, what is it called? I, I don't know, the, the, the naked guy prompt, the um, unreliable narrator. 
because he is reliable to you. Like he doesn't tell you any lies, but he tells a shit ton of lies to other people. And he's also on drugs like the whole book, which um, is not my jam. Like normally I get really irritated when characters are doing drugs and alcohol. Like I don't think either is cool. I'm not really that interested in either. Um, but for some reason I just loved him anyway. So um, yeah, so in some ways I guess he's unreliable to other people but he tells you the truth. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you have read and loved so far that I need to add to my list and I will see you guys today because it's already the next day. Okay, bye.